All right, let's do the review of the male and female reproductive systems. We're gonna start with female. Parts you need to know. All right, remember, any part of the female reproductive system that's from the pelvis to the external opening is that's called the vagina. So if that pelvis would be split and spread open, you'll be able to see the whole system. Okay, and then you come right up to the end right here. This tube, it's got some connective tissue on it. That part right there, that is the body of the uterus. And then it splits into the left and right horn of uterus or uterine horn. If you follow the horn up, I'm gonna put this right in my hand right here. Let me flatten this out. And I flatten that out. Oop, stop it. It's being unruly. There we go. Here's the uterine horn, and then there's a piece of tissue that arches over the top. That is called the uterine tube. And then right inside of there, I'm gonna get it back out. There we go. Right here, there's a little peanut looking thing. That's the ovary right there. So the tube goes over the top, that's the ovary. One more time, ovary, uterine tube, Horn of uterus, body of uterus, vagina. That's the female reproductive system. Pretty simple, okay? Let's bring in the male, and we only have one male. Make sure he's on camera here. Okay, looks pretty good right there. All right, for the test, and you can see I have the, the cord here. There's a ligament, a blood vessel, the vas deferens is in there. I'm going to set it like this. I'm holding the testicle right there. Here, I'll set it down. So that's the testicle. Now you can see there's a really thick, it's almost a quarter of an inch wide. There's a big tube that arches over the top. That's called the epididymis. So sperm are formed in the testicles and then come out to the epididymis. And then eventually that epididymis wraps right here, right there. Then there's another tube coming out. Right at, if you follow the epidermis, I'm sorry, epididymis right to the end, there's another tube coming out right here. This is called the vas deferens. So then the sperm will travel along the vas deferens and then re-enter the body. So I'm gonna pull this out of the way. It'll re-enter the body right through this space. And then if I pull this forward, you can see the vas deferens right there. Comes, enters right through the abdominal wall, and the one from the left testicle joins it. Right behind there, you can't see it because the bladder's in the way. Those will go right to the prostate gland. Can't see that now, right behind that bladder. And then eventually out through the penis. So this is the penis. I have the sheath dissected off of it. There's the penis right there. So that could be tagged. So one more time testicle or testes might be the answer and then there's a hood epididymis and then coming out of the hood is the transfer tube called the vas deferens and then you can also see the vas deferens right behind the urinary bladder and we only have this one boy cat so this will be the boy station for sure that is male and female reproductive parts okay